So in this video, we're going to use the Laplace transform to find solution to the second order constant coefficient differential equations. So let's get started. So before we start solving an example, these are few Laplace transform that you should be familiar with, at least seen it somewhere. So let's take a look at this one right here, the last one. Laplace transform of a constant it's going to be the constant over s and then um, another one very quite useful is this one right here if you put in e to the at into the laplace transform it will give you a function one over s minus a so you get a function of the variable s and then you have sine and cosine as well now knowing that let's go ahead and try our first example so here's our first example we're going to use the Laplace transform to find the solution to this differential equation. So it's a constant coefficient, non-homogeneous, and you have two initial conditions. All right, now, so we're going to take the Laplace transform on both sides of this equation. So we have the Laplace transform of y double prime minus 5y prime plus 6y is equal to the Laplace transform of 10. Now, because Laplace transform is a linear operator, on the left-hand side, I can separate them into three different um, terms. So you have the Laplace transform of y double prime minus, and I can also pull out negative five from the transform. So you have the Laplace transform of y prime, and I can do the same thing with six. So you have plus six Laplace transform of y, is equal to the Laplace transform of 10. Well, now here you want to plug in what this is and what this is, and we know how to find those by using the definition of the Laplace transform. So after you have done that, you will know that the Laplace transform of the second derivative is s squared Laplace transform of y minus s times y evaluated at zero minus y prime at zero. So that's replacing the Laplace transform of y prime minus five times the Laplace transform of y prime. It's going to be again replaced with s times the Laplace transform of y minus y evaluated at zero. And then we have plus six Laplace transform of y is equal to now Laplace transform of 10 well we know that the Laplace transform of a constant is constant over s so our constant is 10 so this will be simply 10 over s so now that we have done that the next step is to plug in the initial condition and on the left hand side you want to factor out the term that involves the Laplace transform of y so let's go ahead and do that so I'm going to plug in my initial conditions. So y of zero, so this piece right here, this is going to be two. And then y prime of zero is negative three. So this is going to be negative three. And then we also have y of zero appearing one more time right here. This is going to be two. Okay, so now let's see what that clears out to. So now we have, um, s square laplace transform of y minus 2s and then negative negative that'll be a positive 3 and then i can distribute the 5 as well and plugging in the initial condition so we have negative 5s times the laplace transform of y plus 10 plus 6 times the laplace transform of y is equal to 10 over s. All right, so now that we have done that, now we can factor the terms that involves the Laplace transform, which is this one, this one, and this one. And then we can combine as well. So we have the Laplace transform of y with the terms s squared minus 5s and then plus 6. And then we also have negative 2s. 3 and 10, that will be a 13, 
is equal to 10 over s. And now I can move these guys to the right side. So I will have the Laplace transform of y times s squared minus 5s plus 6 is equal to, so we have 10 over s plus 2s minus 13. And then I can combine the denominators uh, for the top, so we give them common denominators. So you have 2s squared minus 13s and then plus 10 all over the same denominator s. And then on the right hand side, I have the Laplace transform of y times s squared minus 5s plus 6. I can divide it by that term. So we have the Laplace transform of y is equal to all of that times s squared minus 5s plus 6. So that allows us to solve for the Laplace transform of y. So now we have to decompose the right hand side. So we have the Laplace transform of y is equal to 2s squared minus 13s plus 10 all over s times, and I can factor the uh, factor in the bottom, so you have s minus 3 and then s minus 2. And this can be decomposed using the partial fraction decompositions. So you have a over s plus b over s minus 3 plus c over s minus 2. And now the next step is to really solve for these coefficients a, b, and c so that we can take the inverse Laplace transform and that will give us the solution y because eventually we're looking for what is y equal to y is our solution. So now let's go ahead and now just work this out on the side. So we want to figure out what these coefficients are. So we're going to multiply the entire equation by the denominators. So we have 2s squared minus 13s plus 10 is equal to a times s minus 3 s minus 2 and then plus b times s times s minus 2 and plus c times s times s minus 3. And now to solve for this constant we can just pick values for s because most of the factors will go to zero. So just a little bit more algebra to do. So if I pick say s is equal to zero, I have on the right hand side 10 is equal to, so if s is equal to zero, this will go to zero, this will go to zero. So b and c terms will drop, so we're only left with the a term. So you have a times negative three times negative two, that's positive six. So a is going to be five over three. All right, so that's great. Now, if I wanna solve for another constant, let's say I wanna solve for b, so I can pick s to be three. If I pick s to be three, then this one and this one will drop because s is equal to three, so I can solve for b. So let's go ahead and do that. So we have on the right hand side, three square, that's nine times two, that will be 18. So we have 18 minus, so, um, so 13 times three, that would give us a negative 39 and plus 10 on the right left side. And on the right side, as we plug in three, um, uh, B will survive. So we're going to get um, B times three times three minus two, that would be one. And then this would give us, so we have a 28 minus 39, that will be a negative 11 equals three B. Well, now we know B is going to be negative 11 over three. All right, so we got one more to go. So now for the last one, we can pick S to be two. So we have two uh, on the right left hand side, two square S square, that would be um, four times two, that would be eight, minus 13 times two, 26, 
plus 10 is equal to, so A term will go to zero, B term will go to zero, and C term will have C times two times negative one. And then that will give us, so we have eight plus 10, that will be 18 minus 26, that's negative eight, is equal to negative two C, and hence we have C is equal to positive four. Great, so now that we have our constants, we can go back to our question and plug them in for A, B, and C. So we have the Laplace transform of Y is equal to, so we have A over S, and we found A is five over three, so we have five over three, s plus now we have b over s minus 3 and we found b to be negative 11 over 3 so negative 11 over 3 over s minus 3 plus and the last term we had was c over s minus 2 and c we found it to be 4 so that would be 4 over s minus 2. So that's the Laplace transform of this problem, but now we want to solve it, so we're going to do the inverse Laplace transform, so we can solve for y. So if we apply the inverse Laplace transform, we have now y is equal to Laplace inverse of 5 over 3 over s plus, well I can really pull out the negative, so let's just do that, negative Laplace inverse of 11 over 3 over s minus 3 and plus the Laplace inverse of 4 over s minus 2. Well now here you want to match it up from the table that we saw earlier, uh, those familiar functions of the Laplace transform. So I'm also going to pull out these constants so that way it matches exactly with our table so let's pull this out, pull this one out, and pull this one outside. So y is equal to 5 over 3 Laplace transform, sorry, this is Laplace inverse. So Laplace inverse of 1 over s minus 11 over 3 Laplace inverse of 1 over s minus 3 and then plus 4 Laplace inverse of 1 over s minus 2. So now using the table, so let's go back to the beginning of this problem. We saw these familiar functions. So we know that if it's 1 over s minus a, then it's e to the a t. And if it's uh, a over s squared plus a squared, that's sine of a t and so forth. So it looks like the one we have, it's in the first one and the last one, the constant k over s. So matching that up with what we have here, so this looks like the Laplace transform of a constant. So we have y is equal to 5 over 3, so that would be just 1, minus 11 over 3, now this one looks like the exponential. So if we had a Laplace inverse on one over s minus a, that would give you e to the a t. So in our case, it looks like a is three. So we have 11 over e to the three t. And this would also do the same form, one over s minus two. Looks like our a happens to be two in that case. So that would be plus 4 e to the 2t. So there you have the solution to the problem by using the Laplace transform. All right, so um, that's it. I hope this was helpful.